What's up, everybody? This is Dark Masic with Brutally Delicious, coming at you with a review of Fellowship's brand new debut album, The Saberlight Chronicles. I first caught on to Fellowship back in 2020 when they posted on Reddit's Power Metal subreddit and did an AMA. They had an EP out at that point that contains three of the songs found on this album, Glint, The Hours of Wintertime, and Hearts on the Hill. So in short, I've known about them and I've been greatly anticipating this album for the better part of two years now. I am very pleased to say it did not disappoint. For those who are unfamiliar, it's very easy to categorize Fellowship Sound. It's essentially Twilight Force with a little more guitar, a little less synth, and a slightly lower-pitched singer. And right from the get-go, Until the Fires Die is an instant classic. Great, optimistic, fast-as-fuck power metal song. The kind of thing that makes you want to go grab your trusty sword, slay the dragon, and rescue the princess. I say that as someone about to turn 30. I just use the label power metal. I actually think adventure metal is more suitable for this band. There is a pop sensibility to some of the songwriting. The second track, Atlas, if you remove guitars from this, this could be a dance hit, almost like not ABBA, but a band inspired by ABBA. On that note, I would love to praise this guitar player. The guitar solos are a great display of virtuosity, but also very uplifting. It's a great band blend of flash and melody. I've got a lot of praise for specific songs here. Glory Days should be a single. What a chorus. The song Scars and Shrapnel Wounds. It's a great song, but for such a militaristic title, this is like something that could be on a Christmas metal album. The melodies and themes on this album are extremely uplifting. I think I remember the singer saying on Reddit that they tried to write it about their own mental health struggles. In a way, this is kind of like a therapy session going through, and I don't think I've ever heard an album other than the second Foo Fighters album described that way. The Saint Beyond the River. This is a wonderful song. I loved it right away. I think this probably should have been the closing track because I think it has that kind of catharsis to it. Silhouette is a beautiful ballad. This is like on par with Enchant Me by Skeletoon, and that was my favorite track released last year. This is wonderful. Even though they were already released, I of course have to throw some praise to Glint and Hearts Upon the Hill. They were great singles. Happy to hear them again. And last but not least, the closing track, Avalon. This was a great epic closer. I'm starting to wonder whether St. Pete on the River should have been the closer. I think either one's a great contender. This one's just a little more typical to have the long, like, nine-minute epic metal track at the end. All in all, I am amazingly pleased with this album. It did not disappoint in the slightest, and I'm so proud of these guys. Here's to hoping you're on the rebooted 70,000 tons of metal, because I will go to both sets. Rock on!